Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. We welcome you inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena for Ontario Series Lacrosse Finals. This is game number one of the best of five series featuring the Six Nations Rivermen and the Oakville Titans. The Titans are the defending champions lost in the bronze medal game of last year's President's Cup. If you followed our OSL coverage this season, you'll know that they're looking to get back there. They feel like they've had some unfinished business to attend to do the Oakville Titans. Goaltenders for today's game, Craig, Wendy, Warren Hill should be no surprise on either side. Black uniforms, white letters, and baby blue pinstriping going right to left for the Oakville Titans here in period number one. As the Rivermen will counter with their white jerseys, black numbers, and red helmets. Face-off violation to start as Oakville will push it outside. Matthew Van Galen from inside the restraining line. Being watched here. And pushed outside by Brooker Muir. That shot bounces off, excuse me, Warren Hill. As now it'll be picked up by Zach Williams, who comes across center. Change, a bit of an odd start time, 1 p.m. here this afternoon, local time. As this ball is moved out to Wayne Van Ever, he goes top spot, takes a shot in the first save of the game out of the way for Craig Wendy. Nearly intercepted as the Rivermen try to go through the middle. That was off the stick of Braden Davis. Van Ever has it back though as a sidearm shot from Joe Miracle hits off a body in front. Van Every right on the doorstep. As the rebound moved out, and the Rivermen will take a 1-0 lead here in the early going of period one. And that's got the air horns out here at the ILA. As this was a bit of a scrambled play off a rebound, Van Every finds himself untouched right in the middle. And he'll put it behind Craig Wendy for a 1-0 start here. A minute and 18 seconds into our first of three scheduled 20-minute periods. Rivermen control the ensuing face-off. Number of omissions from their lineup due to absences and carryover suspensions from that first round series against Owen Sound. As Van Every steps up, oh, rising shot, it's near the line, and just kept out for the Rivermen. No race vice, no Adam Bomberry, no Sherman Williams. Bomberry and Williams will be available for game two, we understand. No Wayne Hill, Ian Martin. No Johnny Palace, Zed Williams, or Nawe Brandt. The rest of the scratches. Wide shot there from Oakville. Results in a Riverman possession up and over center. Brought up by Stuart Martin. For the Titans, no Mason Noble. Justin Scott, Brett Obikis, Patrick Corbett, Curtis Woodland, or Jake Cook. Couple APs we'll get to as this ball rolls in harmlessly on Craig Wendy. Dawson Brown and Tanner Branicki. We'll slot in the APs from the Hamilton Junior B Bengals. Posma pick and roll with Van Galen. His shot bouncing around through the legs there of Warren Hill, but he had that back leg covering the line. And that's as far as that one gets. And Zach Williams will bring it up and over center now. Three minutes gone in the first period and the Junior B game coming up. We will unfortunately not have it for you, but if you're in the area of the ILA at four, the Six Nations Rebels and Akwesasne Indians 1-1 series tie in the Junior B Ontario Finals. Coming up at four here at the ILA. Matthew Lee looking to the far side here now. That one will elude Spencer Pike, who had a hat trick in our last broadcast. Game number five against the Brooklyn Merchants. Series that went the entire way 
and then some overtime in that deciding game five. Pick and roll here all the way through and in for John Williams. As he uses his big body to rumble through to the net and put it in for the second goal of the game here for the Rivermen. Keep your eye on the far side, Williams. Standing there as he matches up with his man and the double team goes to take the pass away. Williams left all alone with a step. And you can see the end result, it gets past Wendy. Three minutes and 45 seconds gone in the period and two nothing Rivermen. They took care of Owen Sound in four games, winning three straight after the North Stars won game number one. In that series, two of their four games requiring overtime, however, including a wild game number three. Eight, eight headed in and five goals scored in the full 10 minute overtime period. Zach Williams down the floor and with speed trailing the play, a cut back move for Brooker Muir. Wenster Green was up with him with that wooden stick. Well, one hand pick it up right at center. And now Green will head off in favor of Miracle. Brooker Muir stays up, however. He's up along with Wayne Van Every. Pick there in front, big one from Howdice. As we've watched him come up through the Arrow system and play a, a lot of winter ball here in Ontario, as well as the senior B. Howdice or Joe Miracle. Devastating leg injury for him a couple years ago. And it's great to see him back. You'll see next time he's on the floor, a very pronounced brace on the right leg. And that's the reason why just now, almost two years later, starting to come back into form is Joe Miracle, who scored the game winner to send the Rivermen here to this final series. Jake Bomberry to the far side. And there's some big boys on that right side of the floor for this Rivermen club. Personally, my first look at them this year. As you know, we've seen the Titans many times here on JVI Sports Network's coverage. Dawson Brown ran it up to center. Man on the crease trying to decal Warren Hill, but he's a bigger size goaltender and even going with a couple of those fakes, still taking a majority of the net away from Tanner Branicki. His first touch. Rivermen have it back though. Ball played down in the corner. John Williams has the second goal. Oh, and what a play. What a play, Holden Weiss. Ball just squeaked out to him and late in the shot clock, Changes coming and going, and he just turns and dumped it towards the net to maintain possession. And it's 3 0 here. Watch this out of the corner. Talked about the size of Williams. And unfortunately, just missing at the tail end. A great finish from Holden Vice. 3-0 now for the Rivermen. As the Titans here will gain control off the faceoff. From outside, Matthew Lee, a hard shot. That stuffed by the defender. I believe that's Riley Johnson stepping up. Ball to the far side now for the Titans with five on their shot clock. Skipper goes in, Warren Hill will make the save. Hill coming up through the entire system. I believe he started with the Rebels, came through the Arrows. And then has been with the Rivermen most of the way. Few games here or there with the Six Nations Chiefs when required. Oh, a spin move there, Sam Posma on his way to the net. Stripped by Wenster Green in a two on one. Out in transition around the back, Green coming in on goal. He scores! Yeah. 
Wenster Green off the block. And the Rivermen are gonna take off running. And they're taking off in this game as well. Four nothing as we look at the replay. Two Rivermen take off and you can see all of the space that Wenster Green has with that wooden stick to come in on Craig Wendy. And Wendy's called for a water break here. Brooker Muir has been leading the transition rushes. He was the man that was up, I believe. With Green on that transition play. And just getting it over the shoulder of Wendy, who from time to time this year, despite as solid as he's been, a bit susceptible to runs here or there. We saw that in game five in that Brooklyn series. Saw it in game four as well as a seven to two second period for Brooklyn. Bouncer to the far side as Stephen Lee and the Titans try and set up. Eddie Renault up on him. John Jimerson shot from well outside. Brennicky. It skips in on goal and now Warren Hill off to his right side. What a time to be a lacrosse fan. We talked about Junior B action here at the ILA later this afternoon. The OLA Festival in Whitby up in Peterborough. The FIL Under-19 World, World Field Lacrosse Championships, excuse me. This ball wide of the net goes up and out of play. <coughs> Titans are on a change. So it takes a few extra ticks here for Braden Davis to get it in the stick of the reigning OSL Rookie of the Year, Cree Blakely. But a sophomore season for him, no sophomore slump. As Van Galen will come over the pick from Matthew Lee, far side. Rolls past Van Galen as they try to get it back through and just struggling for any sort of sustained offense today. So far are the Oakville Titans as we've played eight and a half minutes in our first period. Far side, Williams. Shovel pass here in front and a well-timed stick check as Greg Longboat was getting ready to rip one in. Right tight to the crease as Matthew Lee and now Posma up over center. Sam Posma, Cree Blakely. Posma will get it back outside. Looking to the left side of the floor. How about the snipe from Eddie Renault to break the ice here this afternoon for the Oakville Titans. Eddie Renault, former Oakville Buzz Junior B player, did this throughout his junior career from roughly that spot as well. Just has a howitzer when he comes up and over the shoulder. And that'll make it 4-1 with closing in on nine minutes gone here in the first period as Oakville has one back. And a big face-off win there for Ashton Jacobs as the Rivermen will regain possession. They swarm Gates Abrams. Abrams back with it, flips it to the corner. Big fake. Looking to go around Wendy and then back short side. Wendy goes with him and stops Stu Martin. What a save there by Craig Wendy. As Oakville will now bring it back in transition. Here it is quickly. Oh, Craig Wendy. Here's Matthew Lee, far side. Bit short on the follow through there from Renault as there was a defender in his face. Posma trying the desperation attempt to beat the shot clock, but not to be as it will be turned over here to the Rivermen. Again, this is a best of five series, a rematch of last year's OSL finals. Greg Longboat. 
Longwell looking down to the corner for John Williams. Pass a little too high, goes up and out of play. And Kyle Stavely, former Orangeville Northman, will bring it out and over center for Cree Blakely. Blakely, one of the characters on the Oakville Titans roster. As he gets it back now, has room. Van Galen trying to clear more space for him as Blakely wanted top position to get that shot away. And it was briefly stripped, but now recovered by Van Galen. His shot doesn't get out of the crease of Hill after he made the save as Blakely was waiting for a rebound that never showed up. Ball walked down the boards by Van Every. Sawyer Howell on him. And it's played back up top. A outside shot, Greg Longbow low this time. And Wendy looks to be anyway settling in. After four goals in the first eight minutes. Just under nine to play here in the first. As a float pass there, Matthew Lee looking for Posma in transition, stolen. And here comes Holden Weiss rumbling down the floor. Weiss will get a piece of Eddie Renault in front of the Oakville bench. As Matthew Lee again jogging up and across center after Holden Weiss was stripped. Weiss getting the third goal of the game today for Six Nations. As Ashton Jacobs will break up that play. And now near side for Zach Williams. And Van Every up top. He'll go out to the side cutter through the middle, Holden Weiss. Titans will pick up off the loose ball. As Posma will push it far side in the middle. Van Gillen had room, took the shot. He wants a back in call there. The nation's player went back in and now a shovel pass there. Shovel shot, excuse me, from Holden Weiss. Excuse me, that was Stu Martin. In transition, running down and tried to put the move on Craig Wendy. Big tie up far side of this set as Matthew Lee tries to get in position. Ball will be far side for Ranicki though. And as it's put on net, Warren Hill gobbles that up again. Seven minutes left in the period. He has looked absolutely solid, save for that one outside shot from Eddie Renault early on in this one. There's Wayne Van Every. Van Every for Riley Johnson. Johnson will cut through the space created by the screen and had to double clutch in the shot as it rolls wide. Dawson Brown will run into it. Brown for Sawyer Howell. Howell will put the brakes on at the restraining line as we've got six and a half left in this first period. 4-1 for the Rivermen. Blakely. Not sure if the shot was there. He finally got the top spot he's been looking for all game. But pass to Eddie Renault. Now Posma. Couple of Titans on the crease. And the over the shoulder shot attempt from Blakely. Save made by Warren Hill. Zach Williams up for Brooker Muir here. Muir waiting for help off the bench. Brooker Muir is going to stay on and take an offensive shift. Here's Joe Miracle. Outside to the far side of the floor. Gates Abrams over his shoulder in through the middle. Miracle couldn't get the around the world shot to go. Intercepted by the Titan player who was nearly rubbed out on the boards as Muir chases him down. Full minute and a half shift for Muir who's now gonna head to the bench as Hill takes care of another shot and another rebound. Quickly down the floor, spinning back now, Jake Bomberry. Goes back up to the man off the bench as Van Every takes over. Van Every's got a step, he tries the one hand, underhand towards the net, and Wendy 
Makes the save with under five to play in the period. Sawyer Howell to the far side. We do have three officials on the floor here for this final series. They are John Sutcliffe, Josh Hiltz, and Roger Nurse. Haven't had to speak of them much in this game, which is probably a good thing as dancing, trying to dance around the crease and ending up going over the cylinder with Spencer Pike. Would probably get away with that in the winter. However, here. In the summer ball, that crease cylinder extends all the way up. Attempt for Zach Williams trying to reach in front of Craig Wendy. Intercepted and Jamie McMahon will lead transition the other way. McMahon looking for help though as thought he was going to head to the bench. He'll stay on. Cree Blakely to the far side. Renault takes top spot. They're going to leave space open over there. Low shot here from Blakely. Posmo will get into the corner. Normally the spot we'd see Curtis Woodland over there on the left shooter side, but not in the lineup today. So they're mixing and matching a little bit. Are the Titans. Another big set for the Rivermen with three and a half to play in the period. Van Every all the way out to the corner. Titans defender trying to keep him there as he gets flipped up and over the glass. He was trying to put it in the corner. That took a funny bounce to Montour saying it did so because it hit off a Titan player, but not going to get the call is Van Galen now. To the far side, Pike. Renault over the top, his bouncer. Goes past everybody off the glass and down the floor. That'll spring Wendy from the cage. And presumably he'll just wait this out before launching it down. Yes, he does as the Titans now making a defensive change. 4-1 here in the closing minutes of the first period. If you're just joining us, Ontario Series Lacrosse coverage brought to you by the JVI Sports Network. Up top, Van Every. He'll push it outside, lowering the shoulder, and the boom was holding Vice as he tried to make his way to the crease, sporting the Oakville Titans dyed head of the stick. Here's Posma. His head is dyed red, matching the Rivermen helmets. Pike for Posma. Looked like we may have Titan transition there, but they slow things down now with Blakely off the bench. He shoots around a high screen of Wenster Green and Blakely trying to get it back. Green wasn't happy that the follow through on the shot caught him right in the midsection and he chased Blakely all the way back out and over center floor, but no retribution. He looked like he was chasing him with a purpose. And under two to play in our opening period. Both teams trying to settle in and perhaps feel each other out here in game number one of a five game series. Pick and roll and just a wide shot that hooked in the stick of Riley Johnson after Van Every put in work and then shot from the far side handled there by Wendy with a minute and a half remaining. Davis, Matthew Lee trailing as is Van Galen who had to make a nice recovery to catch that. On the fly, here's Renault. All five have touched it now as it's in the stick of Pike. Spencer Pike looking to get past Josh Jimerson. Wants to go through the crowd to Van Galen. Shot partially blocked by Van Every, who's back taking a defensive shift. Picked up by Braden Davis and dumped into empty floor space. Minute and three seconds left here for the Rivermen. We'll see if they decide to go two for one. They'll have two timeouts to play with throughout today's game. You can take one per period as Miracle from the outside. Looks like he's looking for the shot. Wants Van Every as Van Every was trying to cut through in 44 seconds here. We'll see now if the Titans try to push. Frank Lachowski wants them to. Will Posma take the shot down at 35 seconds. In the corner they return for Posma and now they'll as this skips away set up. 
Change there for Braden Wallace. However, Ben Heidecker. Trailer here is Renault. He tries another Howitzer Plast. The only goal so far in the game for the Oakville Titans, who are expecting a timeout. They kind of held up, but the Rivermen already Warren Hill on the bench. They're just going to go six man set. They've already discussed it. And 13 seconds on the clock. Ball will start in the corner. Van Every is the top man. Miracle up there as well. Over the shoulder as the return pass from Vice. First shot was John Williams. Here's the Titans down the floor. Had time, but the shot just wide. And the first period started with a flurry there for the Oakville Titan, or excuse me, the Six Nations Rivermen. Four goals through the first eight minutes. But then nothing the rest of the way as Craig Wendy settled in. And just one on the board for the Oakville Titans. This is the Ontario Series Lacrosse Finals between the Rivermen and the Titans on the JVI Sports Network. Rivermen lead 4-1. We'll take a nine and a half minute timeout and be back to the ILA for more Ontario Senior B Lacrosse action.
Welcome back inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. 4-1 after your first period. The Six Nations Rivermen, all four goals in the first eight minutes. Off the sticks of Wayne Van Every. John Williams, a beauty from Holden Vice, and then Wenster Green in transition before Eddie Renault would get one back for Oakville. And that gives us our 4-1 score. Teams have switched sides here. So Oakville will be running left to right, still away from Craig Wendy. And the Rivermen. What a first period from Warren Hill we saw there in the first as they'll go right to left here in this second period. Ashton Jacobs takes his man down as he was felled off the faceoff. Check there, Zach Williams almost ending up in the Oakville Titans bench. When it will be Riverman ball, Vice forced to go the long way. As this will be pushed back, Miracle for Van Every. Getting it for Jake Bomberry. Van Every in the corner for Bomberry now. Van Every fake low went high. And that went off the shoulder of Craig Wendy. And we'll get a reset here for Six Nations. Trying to work his way through Greg Longboat. Out of the corner, far, far side is Miracle. Now Bomberry and Van Every. The three lefties putting in work on this set and ball's gonna bounce out back for Van Every after hitting the post and the back of Wendy. And he taps the post to his right hand side. As this one's gonna scoot away from Van Every. Kyle Stavely chasing it through. Looking to kick it back. He does, it's recovered by the Oakville captain, Gage Board. Streaming off the bench now. Matthew Lee, Tanner Brennicky. Brennicky still with it outside all the way to the far. Right side of the floor as Matthew Lee took the shot. Warren Hill looking down floor. Interception though. So he was trying to get in the stick of Riley Johnson. In transition, big fake first shot and then a bouncer that hits off the post. Warren Hill still way out of the net. And then a second one, Eddie Renault hits the side of the cage. Oh my. Warren Hill breathes a sigh of relief there. As Braden Wallace and Eddie Renault both had a wide open net to shoot at and somehow it manages to stay out as Warren Hill was way down and out on the turf behind the net. Pick set far side for Joe Miracle. He's gonna take it all the way to the crease and the shot and the goal from Joe Miracle. Couple peeks to the official to make sure the feet were good. But they say, yes, it's okay. And it is 5-1. This starts with a up seal and then down to Van Every. Still good, still good balls in, doesn't matter. As then the feet cross, that is a fantastic summer goal there for Wayne Van Every and a great call by the official down on the crease as well by our estimation up here. As the Titans will control this face-off, Stephen Lee at the dot. Face from Ashton Jacobs. Mm. Joe Miracle with the fifth. Played back here for Pike. And he cut it and take it to the crease. His shot, save made by Hill. Rebound into the corner. Rolls through the crease of Hill, some nifty stick work. Get it back in that big summer goalie paddle. Uh, Brooker Muir struggling to break free of Braden Wallace. Now does, he's gonna stay up here. As it's played back for Jake Bomberry, his sidearm shot finds Craig Wendy who will drag it back into his crease. Three and a half gone in the period, just that one goal so far. A beauty from Joe Miracle. 
Van Galen over the top in a shrug of the shoulders from Warren Hill, who will make the save. Van Galen, early on in the season anyway, saw a lot of time with the Oakville Rock of Major Series, but a stacked right side for them. And with Jeremy Noble returning to the lineup, he was the odd man out of sat. All three of their games this week, of course, Titans had some big ones that he needed to rest up for as well. This one's gonna bounce down the floor, however, as Stephen Lee comes in in transition, lost it momentarily. That allowed the Rivermen to even the numbers, but a sidearm shot from Van Galen. Save made by Warren Hill. Craig Wendy has been the AP backup for most of the season for Nick Rose on the Oakville Rock team. Again, not this week. That opened the door for Sam Haynes. Junior B, Holton Hills Bulldog and Junior A, Oakville Buzz product. Off the glass, Longboat. It seems like every possession he gets a good look. At, I believe is his first shot on net though from Longboat as he's been stuffed all game here on this right side. <coughs> O'Reilly Johnson. He'll set the pick on Sawyer Howell. Miracle goes over the top, back for Johnson. And ball in behind the Oakville Titans net. That's five minutes gone as Alec Tamas starts it back up the floor. Eddie Renault can't get around the corner on John Williams. Big tie up down in the corner though as they're working over Van Galen. Matthew Lee through a crowd. Eddie Renault, long way from home. Kicked through and Posma couldn't pick up cleanly. Nifty little play by Spencer Pike. Knew he didn't have a shot. His stick was tied up. Kicked it to Posma late in the shot clock. But he couldn't handle it cleanly. Here's Muir. Gets past the first defender. Now back up top with everybody low. And the shot from Longboat from his wrong side and then quickly down the floor. Braden Wallace. Wallace over the top of the defender's shot and saved by Warren Hill as the defense forced Wallace to his wrong side. Two goals in transition the other night for Wallace, including one shorthanded in that game number five, clinching victory. What a game, still on our channel if you missed it. As be sure to subscribe as whether live or tape delay will bring in this entire series. As Bomberry tries to work it out of the corner. Riley Johnson, now Van Every up top. Wayne Van Every lowers the shoulder. Played back here for Gates Abrams. Seen a game or two with the Chiefs this year as Bomberry blindly over the shoulder. Excuse me, that's Stuart Martin, who then gets run over right in front of his own bench. Braden Davis will put the brakes on as he crosses the restraining line. Pass to the trailer and just a wide shot by Branicky. Almost feels like Branicky rushing a little bit. The A Junior B AP up here with the Titans today. Branicky was setting a pick now for Renault. And Van Galen not ready for that pass. Hits him right in the face mask. As down the floor, Miracle was wide open. The pass too hard off the boards. And they've got the captain gauge boarding behind everybody. Possman now off the bench. The fake and the goal. As Oakville's got their second. Took quite a while though. As Warren Hill wants a water break. We'll start this play back from the other end. And you can see the floor open up and watch this pass. Doink. Right off the head of Van Galen. That drew a few chuckles in the crowd, but Miracle all alone back the other way. And then quickly down floor, Gage Board recognizing Posma off the bench. And he'll undress Warren Hill and make it a five to two game. Goalie Union waiting here. There's the fist bump between Wendy 
and Warren Hill. Game number two tomorrow from the Toronto Rock Athletic Centre is a 7 p.m. start. That is August the 4th, if you're watching this delayed here on YouTube. We'll have that for you right here on the channel. At the ILA next weekend, August the 10th, a 7 p.m. start. And then note the time change on August the 11th, that's next Sunday, 3 p.m. start time at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center because that is a double header. Senior B action starting at 3 p.m. Major Series Lacrosse game number four. Oakville Six Nations Chiefs at 7 p.m. And then if required, game number five will be back here at the ILA August the 13th. It's a Tuesday night and it's an 8 p.m. start time. Here's Wallace to the far side. Worth noting as well, it's good to see as Wallace shoots wide off the end boards, he'll get his own rebound. Quick peek at the shot clock, which reads 10 seconds. The defense had taken off, however. Glad these games are here at the ILA. There was talk of a few different venues, but again, this joint is gonna be hopping here today as later on, again, we won't have it for you, at least not as of right now. Oh, one. Van Every fighting through a check. Ends up recovering and he'll go low for his second of the game. May have been a holding penalty upcoming, but what a play from Van Every coming out of the corner. Just a, a bit of a nothing play. He was looking for the rebound, it looks like. He's about to get on his horse to go take it. But not required as it gets through the legs of Craig Wendy. Four goal lead restored. And remember, we started four nothing in the first eight minutes. Titans would have had a two one lead. If not for that, as they got the first goal. Excuse me, first goal of the period going to the river, man. Would have tied things up as we're now back up to that four goal lead. <clears throat> Miracle in the corner, Van Every, it's Miracle with the shot. Wendy's save, immediately looking down floor, but there was no one there to accept the pass. Tamis will find a man out the front door and it skips out of the head of the stick of Van Galen. As now the Rivermen try to go in transition. Up for Riley Johnson here. Van Every wants to slow things down, get a full change in as there's 10 and a half minutes remaining here in period number two. <laughs> Give and go with Longboat between him and Gates Abrams. Greg Longboat ran through the crease. Pretty clearly, I thought, despite the objection from the seats. Renault, far side, Posma. Return pass here, Branicky feeding Posma on the run. His shot saved in between the legs of Warren Hill. Quick restart here as it's up for Brooker Muir. And too many, four back and two up for the Rivermen. We'll give the ball back to the Titans as we pass the halfway mark of this second period. Renault shot around a screen. Skips wide to the net. Matthew Lee all the way back across center to play for the rebound. Posma, Van Gillen sets the pick for him. Renault wanted top spot, but... And Lee off the floor to take the transition away back defensively. May not matter, though, as Riley Johnson chugging down. Johnson, a man off the bench. That's Bom um, Bomberry, excuse me. Bomberry getting it back. As stepping up, McMahon looking for the interception as they return it back. He skips off the head of the stick of Miracle. 
Tamis, Matthew Lee, a bouncer off the post. And nearly a good catch by a fan in the stands. As Spencer Pike restarts. Lee with the pick, Van Galen in the corner. Matthew Lee and Renault. Big pile up in front of the ball here as Renault will put it into the corner. Banks it off the glass for Cree Blakely as Pike waited for the screen. It looked like he had to double clutch a little bit and then his shot bounces wide and goes off the end glass. Here's Zach Williams. And one of the biggest named acquisitions for the Rivermen here this season was Zed Williams. Chance to play with all his brothers here on the weekend though. Believe he is south of the border on field assignment. Shot there, Longboat again. Starting to hone that in as that one hits off the post. As in transition, a shot off the post the other way, Stephen Lee this time. Titans corral their rebound though, seven and a half remaining in the second. As from the outside, Branicki looks for Posma. This looks like he's got springs in his shoes the way he bounces around on that far side. But Eddie Renault trying to float it through the middle. Just off target and just off target down the floor looking for Stu Martin. Who I don't think would have broken in free all alone, but Dawson Brown was back there for the interception anyways. Van Galen for Renault, a bit sloppy couple minutes in that here. As picked off and tipped passes either way. As it looks like Bomberry's got it. Bomberry down in the corner and John Jimerson lowers the shoulder as does John Williams now. Playing back in front, that pass just skips away from Gates Abrams. He was all alone in the crease. Branicky down floor. Posma off the bench trailing the play. Couple fakes from Gage Board off the inside of the foot of Warren Hill. Break for the Rivermen there as it looked like Board had one. That's uh, just some lucky bounces for the Rivermen in that this period as Van Galen gets a rebound, another shot, and no luck required there. That's just all skill from Warren Hill, who stands tall. And will make the save on Renault. Maybe another opportunity for Renault. He likes to pass to Van Galen instead. Matthew Lee with shooting space. Fakes it, takes it, and scores. Matthew Lee cutting the deficit in half. 6-3 now with 5.48 left. As this is just a big time fake on the far side. Look how much room opens up on the floor for Matthew Lee. Big fake there and then taking it down to the crease. Shot getting through Warren Hill for a 6-3 now. A lead for the Rivermen. As Ashton Jacobs. Goes back to the faceoff dot as does Stephen Lee. Big battle here, ball loose. Poked ahead by the butt end it looked like of Lee. It's where Kyle Stavely corralled it for Braden Davis pair of former Northmen who are in the Ontario Junior A Finals against Burlington. That series, I believe, even after last night's marathon, a 45-minute delay for a broken net before double overtime for the Chiefs to claim victory last night. Sure, if that's wrong, someone in the chat will correct me. As all our live games have the YouTube chat open. Big fake down the far side and then the ball pops out of the stick of Holden Weiss. Faked out the first defender. 
bowled through the second as the shot back the other way. Van Galen into the feet of Van Every makes the save. Stare down in behind the play. As meanwhile, on his way to the net was Bomberry and just a well-timed stick check. Desperation by Ryan Johnston. Posma had Pike in the middle. And the return pass just a little too hot to handle. Played back for Winster Green. A little pirouette as he crosses center and then a float pass to the front door. Van Every waiting for reinforcements. Four minutes left in the period. Hard shot there, Stu Martin. And a couple Titans breaking to the bench. They want transition. Three on one. It's going to be in favor of Oakville as Van Galen shot off the post. Van Galen in the boards, tripped up. He went face first. And they're still banging, looking for this rebound. And it is going to be Matthew Van Galen, who then is filled in by Ashton Jacobs. He'll get it all the way up for Wallace, though. Hidden ball play between him and Branicky. Branicky flips for Lee. Matthew Lee, Branicky, man off the bench is Pike. His shot saved. Full splits. Save made by Warren Hill in the diving effort there by Jacobs. To get it up the floor to start the transition here for the Rivermen. High defense by Stavely. Ball will be rolled to the front door. Van Every Back for Miracle. And Van Every again. Here's the shot from Longboat on the near side. Save made by Wendy. Three left in the period. Gage Board looking for man off the bench. Finds it in Matthew Lee. The shot saved by the left arm of Warren Hill. Rebound straight for Longboat. And the pass a little too far for Wenster Green looking for his second. Floor starting to stretch a little bit here. This is when you get personnel mismatches. And communication, very important. And Warren Hill off to his right. You heard someone say, watch Crease. As now Wallace looking for Posma. Titans player falls as Hill. Oh, he took that in an uncomfortable spot. And he's down and wants attention from the trainer as here comes Rich Porter. And is Warren Hill coming out of this game? The backup is Scotty Comer. I think he just wants a drink here, does Warren Hill. As you look at the bench of the Oakville Titans, who had a number of season awards, including Top coaching staff led by Frank Lachowski. I mean, Chet Fletcher, the only two carryovers from last year. They've added Sean Ferris and Bob McMahon, however. To their coaching staff as they look to get back to the President's Cup. This year out in Ganawaki, if I'm not mistaken. Low shot there. Miracle, you heard it tip off a couple shafts of the stick as Bomberry fights for this loose ball. Him and Alec Tamas. And it rolls up for Joe Miracle, who will get the reset. Bomberry playing it out of the corner. Off for Martin. Stu Martin down low. Gates Abrams takes it to the crease. And the save made there by Wendy as the Titans player was filled in. Had a peek at the official. No call, though, as Tamis runs into this up pass. 
from the restraining line. All four timeouts, two per team still in play. As we near the final minute here of this second period, Eddie Renault. Renault to Matthew Lee, cutting his way through the defense. That one goes sky high. He says it was tipped off the stick of John Jimerson, but won't get that call as Jimerson from out of the corner up here for Zach Williams. Williams, man, on the crease through the cylinder. And John Williams, early off the bench, was the Titans forward. So in the final minute here, 50, 50 seconds remaining for the Rivermen as they bring it up over center. Longboat slowly jogging it for sure. A two for one coming this time. As Riley Johnson to the outside, Van Every. 36, long boat, a little late, 34 when the shot went, as it'll be picked up by Miracle. Now long boat again, he's the high man. Played to the outside, Riley Johnson. Wayne Van Every, halfway through the shot clock. Van Every to the crease, and off the glass. I don't know if that was the intended, res intended play but they get the desired result. As again, the four goal lead restored on a beautiful finish from Van Every off the end glass. I think that's exactly what that play was designed to do. Right out of the corner takes a home hop straight to Van Every, and he had an open cage behind Wendy. And the Rivermen want timeout as the faceoff corralled by Holden Weiss. I'll bring Warren Hill to the bench. 9.4 on the clock here in the second. 7-3, your score. That man right there, Stu Montour, and his team. Again, a little shorthanded today. We understand they've got Adam Bomberry, Sherwin Williams. Back tomorrow for game number two at the Toronto Rock Athletic Center, a 7 p.m. start. JVI Sports Network is in partnership with Major Series Lacrosse and Lacrosse TV this year. As the MSL playoffs start tomorrow as well, Brampton in Peterborough, a 5 p.m. start. Note the time change for that one as well, as Canada U.S. plays at the FIL Field Nationals just down the street from Evinrude, and they didn't want the conflict. So a 5 p.m. start tomorrow lacrosse-tv.com. Play in the corner, a bit mixed up here. And it's gonna scoot away from Van Every and the horn will sound. So there will be no return shot. But it's still a four goal lead for the Rivermen. That's the way it's been pretty much the entire game. We'll see if it continues through the third period as well. 7-3 here after two, you're watching the Ontario Series Lacrosse Finals on the JBI Sports Network. Third period comes your way in roughly 10 minutes time from the uh, Iroquois Lacrosse Arena.
Welcome back to the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena and Ontario Series Lacrosse Finals. Action between the Six Nations Rivermen and the Oakville Titans here on the JVI Sports Network. 7-3 your score after the first two periods. Pair of goals for Wayne Van Every. Singles for Holden Vice, John Williams, Winster Green, and Joe Miracle. Goal scorers for Oakville, Matthew Lee, Eddie Renault, and Sam Posma. Scramble for this face-off. That ends up all the way down in the Rivermen end. Wenster Green getting there first. Enough to reset the shot clock here and give first possession to Six Nations. This is all on their clock. They're posturing up on an Oakville player. Not sure if he's got possession or not. The clock hasn't reset as now it does as it's pulled out by Gage Board. Board was looking to get it to Alec Tamas who was tied up. And they'll just elect to make the change and get Posma. Posma across, sidearm shot there from Branicki. Finds the end boards. And that's the first minute of this third period. From out of the corner up top, Van Every on a bounce. Straight down, a reminder that a lot of stuff coming your way. As we close out this summer, be sure to Stay locked on our social media channels at JVI Video on Twitter, where we'll let you know where we're at and how to view us. And of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content, including all five games of this OSL Finals. This ball is going to skip away from Branicky. Shot clock down to three as Blakely has a bit of trouble with it. Matthew Lee had half a thought of putting it on net, but still likes to lift it into the corner. As Zach Williams will get it up to center. Williams to Riley Johnson, intercepted. Here comes Wallace. Braden Wallace puts the brakes on. Finds a man in behind, though, as Spencer Pike taken down. And then almost sat on as Riley Johnson gets worked over. And that'll be interference against Pike, who gets up hobbling a little bit as he limps off to the bench. Looks like he's okay as he shrugs off the trainer. Tamis on Van Every high, ball into Joe Miracle. Now to the far side, John Williams. His pass off a of body, gets back for a shovel shot attempt there by Gates Abrams. <laughs> Those are all big dudes to try and clear out for the Oakville Titans. They're gonna have their hands full here in this series dealing with that offensive set. Then you look at this set here, which has Posma, Matthew Lee. Lee strong despite his smaller statured size is Van Galen all the way up the floor in conversation with Leland Palace. But they've gone their separate ways now as we played three minutes here in period number three. Seven two three is the score in favor of the Rivermen trying to change that with a dive to the net. Was I believe excuse me Greg Longboat as he gets up now, Ben Heidecker up for Blakely. Matthew Lee through a maze of Rivermen players. All the way back for Eddie Renault, who keeps it in a spot and now we'll get the reset. As it's played back for Blakely. Blakely, Van Galen, far side, quick shot, Renault Hill, not sure where it is, but it's caught up in his gear somewhere as he spun on the spot, and it never did roll out through his feet. Zach Williams across center. Played from Bombay. As John Williams backs his way in towards the crease of Wendy. Ball was stripped though, so Titans will get it. Van Every misplayed the bounce. Passes Postma. 
Hard there on Longboat, and Possum's gonna win the possession. Possum spinning back, takes the shot. And Warren Hill bails out his defense there as he goes full splits to make the save. Looks like Possum was in all alone on the crease. Now a swim move from Van Every. He'll take it the long way outside. Before getting back to Riley Johnson. Wayne Van Every, a pick from Johnson. Over to the far side. Sidearm shot, Paulus off the end glass. And this one will go the length of the floor to expire the shot clock as both teams elect to make changes. Closing in on five minutes gone now in the period. As Lee will jog this up over center. A minor game two right here on the JVI Sports Network tomorrow. Van Galen out of the corner. And this shot. Wide of the net before it went out of play. So the Rivermen. Fresh 30 seconds for them. It's a 7 p.m. start time tomorrow night. Gives you time to check out the pay-per-view broadcast of Major Series Lacrosse. Brampton in Peterborough. 5 p.m. Again, as Canada plays USA at the FIL Field Championships. Off the boards, Gage board to Wallace in transition. And does the ball get out of the crease? Yes, it does. Oh, nearly back into the crease, though, by Jake Bomberry. But some nice footwork to save himself from a violation. Played up from Palace. Van Every. He'll send it back to the far side now. As Longbow gets set to throw a pick. Stu Martin here for Joe Miracle, who falls, and he's clutching his leg. This is the other side than the one he had problems with before. It's Tamis, a low shot, and Martin will make the save as Miracle is still down, and they want the trainer to come out, and this is not a good sign. For Joe Miracle, we've seen him, again, we talked about his injury. Talked about his injury last time. A couple years ago, it was to the right side. Looks like the left side is what he's paying attention to now, and he is upright. Much to the light of the fans here when he scored in that second period. Here's, oh no. As he was coming out of junior, man, How Dice Miracle was such a good upcoming prospect and just unable to put any weight on that left side. And you saw the replay. And we saw what happened a couple years ago in this building, and my goodness. When he scored in that last period, the people in this building know his story. And it was a huge cheer went up for him because it's been a long road back. You see the huge brace on the right side. And again, I believe this is the left side he's paying attention to now, which he wears a sleeve on, but fortunately the play we saw didn't, didn't look like that sleeve was gonna help much. So thoughts with Joe Miracle right now. Yet again, just unlucky in that young man's career. So far, we hope for good things. Again, for his career and for the rest of this series because Rivermen are gonna need him on that left side, but that, of course, secondary at this point. Play back underway with six and a half minutes gone in the third period. Rivermen continue to lead 7-3. As Gage Board will flip this cross center here for Posma. Sam Posma, Pike, big pick though, but Stu Martin able to knock the ball free out of the stick of Renault. Pass back for Wenster Green. Green looking for help, finds a man on the crease, and Wenster Green still with it. Back up for Leland Palace. Bouncer in behind Craig Wendy, Brooker Muir.
Rucker Muir just stood his ground and let it fly. And he'll break the ice here. The largest lead of the game for either team. Five for Six Nations. Oakville has yet to lead in this one. You can see shot, I think, fooled Wendy. Initially, and then just... Craig Wendy struggling with it. Stick taken out of the hands right at the whistle of Kyle Stavely. Alec Tam is going to say something to the Riverman player. Now Stavely will take up his own fight along with Leland Palace. As the ball comes through the middle to Riley Johnson. Now over to Palace behind the net. And flipped up there by Tamas. He had half a mind to go chase it down as Longboat shot. Comes in and Wendy will make the save. Wenster Green off an errant pass intended for Cree Blakely. Here's Van Every, it floats through and they couldn't find Green on the return pass. As we've played eight minutes now in the period. Gage Board putting on the brakes, Matthew Lee. Big high step for Posma trailing the play. Van Galen, he'll crash in, Posma. Over to the far side, F initial fake from Renault, then takes the shot, and goodness, Warren Hill has just been solid here in net for the Rivermen this afternoon. No room for the shot here from, excuse me, Gates Abrams. As this one gets through, Gates is in front of the crease, trying to get it out from under the stick of Craig Wendy. Wendy via Braden Davis to Matt Van Galen. Van Galen has Cree Blakely with him. Blakely looking for the screen. Throws one, now another to clear Wenster Green out of the way. That opens a passing lane to the far side. A shot there, saved by Green, or excuse me, saved by Warren Hill. But a fresh 30 as the Titans corral the rebound. Van Galen, corner for Blakely. He goes over the top, now looks far side for Renault. Blakely, looks like he skidded on the turf a little bit, trying to come to a stop. And the rebound bounces right for Stuart Martin though, and Martin, <laughs> number of fakes. <laughs> trying to get Tanner Branicky to bite. And then the pass ends up errant in the far corner. Riley Johnson through the middle, takes on three Titans players, lost the ball, can't come up with the loose ball either, as finally in the stick of Sawyer Howell. Howell taken down on the interference call. He was held on to before that. I think the call was coming. Anyways, as Van Every will bat it back. John Jimerson leaves it there for Zach Williams. From the outside, John Williams now a shot near side from Bomberry, saved by Wendy, immediately looking down the floor for McMahon, who will get it out of the midsection of Bomberry, who wasn't sure where it was. And then Bomberry recovers to take it away from McMahon who then got buried after the fact, but Posma ends up with the ball. Matthew Lee in the corner for McMahon, under 10 on the shot clock. Posma filled in as he was trying to come down with it. Took the shot though, and as Matthew Lee picks up the loose ball, it's a fresh 30 for Oakville. Nine minutes left and a five goal disadvantage for the Titans. Here's Renault for Van Galen. Matthew Van Galen looking to go over the top. 
pick there from Posma in the middle. Matthew Lee turns and fires, bouncing ball, but it scoots wide of the net after Warren Hill took that one off the face mask. She's finding all kinds of ways to make saves here. This afternoon. Van Every stood up by Wallace before he turned and fired. That one forced wide. And now Leland Palace going to work on Stephen Lee. The slash from Palace on Lee. Called on the interference and Titans. Starting to count possessions here. Eight minutes left. As that one nearly skipped away. Branicky for Van Galen for Matthew Lee now. Five seconds left in their shot clock. Lee can't turn the corner. Branicky sneaks free on the crease, but couldn't get the quick stick. And Warren Hill is asking for some tape over on the right foot. And seven minutes, 35 seconds left now in a five goal lead for the Six Nations Rivermen. If you missed it before, this is game number one, the best of five series, where the winner will head to Montreal for the President's Cup, Canada's National Senior B Championship. Which has gone to Alberta the past couple seasons. And Onondaga capturing the bronze medal Last year in the game against the Oakville Titans. They feel like there's some unfinished business, but I have to get through this series in order to do it. Here's the schedule tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow evening, I guess, sorry, a 7 p.m. start. The Brampton-Peterborough MSL game was moved to 5 p.m. because of Canada-USA at 8 at the FIL Field Across Championships at Trent University. But again, Senior B OSL action. Tomorrow at 7, right here on the YouTube channel from Toronto Rock Athletic Centre in Oakville. Game 3 back here next weekend. Normal start time of 7 p.m. against the Titans. That's August the 10th. The 11th will be a 3 p.m. start at the track as the Senior B game goes before the MSL. Game number 4 in the Oakville Six Nations series. And then if required, the 13th right here at the ILA at 8 p.m. Titans come away with the loose ball. There's a conversation in behind the play. Looks like the officials got that sorted out as Dawson Brown. Well, leave for Posma here, Van Galen. To the far side as Branicky comes off the floor. Van Galen and now Posma again. Big high step to get past Palace. Van Galen setting the pick, and now Palace trying to run after this. You can see that left leg. I'm not sure if that's a compression, a tensor, or tape, but you can see Palace was favoring it as he tried to sprint after that ball and just held up and allowed the shot clock to sound when six and a half left. Across the middle, Riley Johnson. Johnson is Zach Williams. Shot comes from the far side from Palace, and Wendy will hang on and look up the floor for Matthew Lee, but streaking off the bench and the interception. And now with speed, Brooker Muir already has one and hard on the brakes at the restraining line to slow things down. No sense of urgency here for the Rivermen as time on their side, but ticking a little too fast for the Oakville Titans. Have only managed three goals on the afternoon. Matthew Lee, Eddie Renault, and Sam Posma. Oakville player taken down on his way to the bench. That was Tamas, who does get under his opponent's skin from time to time. Gates Abrams also one to not back down. Here's Lee. Fakes the shot, cuts to the net, and Warren Hill stands his ground and just takes that one off the upper body. Leinster Green for Zach Williams. 
In the corner, Green Williams again, far side. Played up top for Wayne Van Every. Across the floor. Feeding here, Stu Martin was looking around for a pass and stood still a bit too long as Sawyer Howell got there and took him heavily to the turf. Howell, ball bounces straight to him. Howell's gonna take the shot. And it bounces just wide as jump ball here between Posma and Van Every. Neither really looked like they wanted to come down with it as they both looked for the hit. But under five to play now. Titans needing five goals. Wenster Green. Cross for Craig Longboat. Pick and the roll and it just scoots out of the stick of John Williams. As he found some open space, nearly a very good play. As Lee, out of the corner, Van Gillen. He'll go over the top, now around the pick of Matthew Lee, that one just wide. And they reset the shot clock, not sure what it hit, but Roger Nurse there. Actually, at times in this game, forgot there were three officials. That's how well-behaved the two benches are and how much control these officials have had on the players. Tamis runs into the rolling ball. One of the defenders has lost the stick as that takes a funny hop out of the corner. Went up for Braden Davis. Couple defenders out there now. Actually, more than a couple. Gage Board, Tamis, Davis, and Ben Heidecker. Heidecker, room to shoot. They let him take it, and he does. And Tamis will throw it towards the crease. And now Warren Hill back to grab the loose ball. Closing in on three minutes left in the third period. And you start to look at Craig Wendy, who was looking to the bench on that last possession. As Wenster Green out to the far side. Back it goes for Johnson. And the shot clock will sound. And now it looks like Wendy's going to go as he's up to the top of the fan again, looking to the bench. No call. And Sean Ferris says, don't worry about it. Cree Blakely out of the corner of the shot. That's behind Ward Hill. Looked like a bit of a nothing play, but Tanner Branicki just comes out of the corner and on a bounce. They asked that ball to be taken out of play. The first senior goal for Tanner Branicki. You can see how much room he has. Far side takes it to the cage and Not a lot that Hill can do there as the times we've seen him be able to see it tonight. He's, and square to it, he's most of the time made the save. Clean face off win there for Stephen Lee. Craig Wendy was already on the bench. As this will be near side, Posma. And now Blakely Van Galen through the middle. Clean interception, empty cage, and it won't be Wendy, the first man out. Longbow right into the heart. And a five-goal lead with two minutes left to play. It looks like the Rivermen are going to lead this series 1-0. Titans just trying to get it to the far side of the crease. And Longboat the interception. And Wendy, not the man that comes off the bench. And the empty net goal, 9-4 with two minutes and five seconds left to play. As we go back to the faceoff dot, Wendy is back in the cage. As that ball never left the circle before Ashton Jacobs put his shoulder into Stephen Lee. 
People starting to leave here as they sense the writing on the wall, perhaps. This one rolling through the crease of Warren Hill. Five goal lead under two to play for Stu Martin. Our next broadcast again tomorrow night, 7 p.m., right here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all the team social media, our social media as well, at JVI Video. Subscribe to the channel so that when we're live, you'll get the notification. And it looks again, like we said, that when we get there tomorrow, Six Nations Rivermen will have a 1-0 lead and we'll look to put a stranglehold on this series. Titans showed a few signs of offense in this game, but when they did, Warren Hill stood huge. You see, again, another tip from Wenster Green for good measure. 48 seconds remaining. This to be a victory lap for Six Nations. They'll get a couple players back tomorrow, but question remains, will one of them be Joe Miracle? We saw go down. And we'll see who's in the lineup as well. See if there are any changes coming. A couple APs tonight for Oakville as they return home to the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. Tomorrow night, it's a 7 p.m. start right here on the JVI Sports Network. As this building starts to clear out and they get ready for game number three of the Junior B Ontario Finals between the Six Nations Rebels and the Akrasathne Indians. Indeed, the Six Nations Rivermen draw first blood in this Ontario final series with a 9-4 final score. Game number two tomorrow night from the Toronto Rock Athletic Center. It is a 7 p.m. start right here on the YouTube channel. On behalf of our producer and director today, Gary Morrison, and the rest of our JVI Sports Network crew and the Ontario Series of Lacrosse. My name is Matthew Carrick. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you have a good night. Let's talk to you tomorrow, lacrosse fans.